Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you how I do my painted hair and this video is for a very simple painted hair look since the mommy of this baby wants um, just a very simple painted hair style for her baby. And this baby was painted by Stephanie Ortiz of In Love With Reborns 2011 and the mommy has asked me to do the painted hair. For my painted hair babies, I always like to start off at the temples and before I do any painting, I do sketch out my hair just so that it makes it a lot easier to paint over and I don't make any mistakes. So um, I go ahead and I sketch my hair out first and then I seal the sketched part and then I go ahead and I paint over that. If you're wondering what kind of pencil I'm using, I am using a Prisma color pencil and I purchased these at Michael's and um, I purchased them um, as a single pencil. Um, I cannot remember the name of this pencil since you can tell it's really, really, really tiny, but it is one of the lighter brown shades. So now I have moved on to the other side of the temple and um, you do want to make sure that when you are drawing on your sketch, you want to have a very sharp point. So I do use this um, very cheap, by cheap I mean it cost me 99 cents, um, sharpener. And I sharpen my pencil about every five minutes when I'm sketching because I want to keep a sharp point. Um, just because it makes the sketch really thin and just really nice and then especially for this area because I do like some of that um, Penciled in hair to show as baby hairs. Um, I want to make sure that that hair is extra fine and extra thin One of the tips that I would like to give when it comes to sketching your hair Since this is what your painted hair will ultimately look like is you want to make sure that the, all of the lines flow together you want to have a very loose wrist and don't be scared um, and just go ahead and let it flow draw the hair remember hair is flowy it's not straight it has an angle to it it has um, a curvature to it so you just let your wrist flow be be relaxed and just think about baby hair that's honestly what i do and um, it turns out great, I think, at the end, if you guys have seen some of my painted hair. So at this point of my painted hair, I'm going to remove this little part of painted hair with thinner, because I want um, my hair that is coming here on the side or from the front part of the head to flow naturally onto the temple. And if I would have left those hairs that I just removed, the hair that is coming from the front part of the head would have not flowed naturally and it would have just destroyed the look of the baby doll. Now we're going to focus on the sorrel and I'm showing you here how the sorrel has to go counterclockwise in order for it to naturally flow into the hair that is already painted, well not painted, but already penciled at the front part of the head if that makes any sense. If you draw your sorrel clockwise, at least for this baby, it's going to clash and you're not gonna get a natural flow of hair. So you'll instantly realize that you'll have to do it counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So right now I'm focusing on the sorrel and making sure that the top part of the head has a natural flow of hair into the front part of the head. So the hairs that are already on the temples and on the forehead and um, yeah so I'm just making sure that the swirl naturally flows into those areas of the head. Now I'm going to focus on drawing in all of the hairs that are going to be at this part of the head. Um, I just want to make sure that they have a nice flow, very curvy hairs, not straight at all. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in this area.
Now we're returning back to our swirl and I'm going to continue making lines flow to the front part of the head and making everything flow in naturally. I never know exactly how I'm going to sketch it out. I honestly just let my hand guide me. Whatever feels natural, I just go ahead and do it unless it really looks bad. But for the most part, I just let my hand flow and it just really honestly takes me to the direction that it needs to go. I think ultimately you just have to have trust in yourself and trust that you can make a great piece of artwork. I think the number one thing is do not question yourself, just do it. Um, if anything, you know, it is pencil, it comes right off, but just, just do it and just let it flow. So here is one layer of penciled in hair and this is exactly what my hair is going to have as a pattern when I paint it. And to make sure that the penciled in hair does not come off, I'm going to go ahead and seal it with my Genesis thinning medium. And I want to make sure that I keep a very thin layer on my sponge just so that I don't get any clumps on the head. And I'm going to go ahead and sponge it on the head. Um, and I want to make sure that I don't um, smudge the penciled in hair. You just want to go ahead and treat it as a stamp <laughs> when you're applying your thinning medium. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera because it does take a bit of time. So here is the head fully varnished. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this twice. And once the head is cool, I'm gonna go ahead and add a second layer of penciled in hair, which is what you're looking at here. And then I'm gonna seal this again and bake it twice and then I'm ready for painting. So that'll be in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed what uh, you saw in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below and I will answer as soon as I can. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.